for the second. And in the middle, the 6'9 big man with wingspan for days out of the Democratic Republic of Congo. 2012 number one pick overall, shot blocker extraordinaire Anthony Davis. Then there's Brown, shot clock at three, Booker, defended by Reed, and nice shot by Booker. Booker's got himself going there. His first points, a lot of issues with their cap. It's only going to get worse this year and continue to spiral in the wrong direction. There's even been talk among the writers that cover the league. Here in L.A., five championships, one of the all-time great Lakers. Uh, but it's a cap question. Do they want to spend all that money for a player who's going to miss a lot of the regular season with that Achilles injury? Working on Biombo. The dish to Russell. That's the free fly. And that one falls coming off of Davis' feed. Biombo dishes the ball. Releases. He clangs that one off the back iron. And down it falls. Paul against Russell. Gets it to go. Well, Anthony Davis is such a difference here in the opening quarter. No good from Booker. Some rugged defense there against one of the stronger finishers in the game. And going back to Anthony Davis' offense, his skinny framework. No luck, they batted on the glass, but couldn't knock it down. Phoenix has gone one or two from long range in the first quarter. Here's a coin, and he jams it with authority. There it is, guys, that old lady. Paul gets a scream from Biombo. He kicks it to Booker. Good, and Paul gets the assist. Booker's got eight points. Lakers working the ball around now. Shot clock at six. It's Davis with the drop. And good on the basket. Booker. He has five. Smooth and fluid. Biombo kicks to Booker. Rebound the Lakers. Tipped. That will count. Oh, it's the buzzer beater. Boy, a big bonus for them to end the quarter as he beats the buzz lead. They've been very physical, really established a presence in the paint. Well, they've chased down those balls. As soon as they've hit the iron, they've been chasing them down. That's been a solid effort by them. Let's go to our sideline reporter, Doris Burton. But his ultimate goal still remains to win an NBA title. He said both the hunger is always there. Warren kicks to Ross. From outside, off the mark. You know, there was a time when the Suns were an up-and-down team. They'd push the tempo and do everything they could to get layups and shoot the three. Those days are history now. Look at that range. Davis with a screen on Landry. The shot's good from Reeves. And the Lakers lead by 11. Of exactly that variety. And it's brought by Reeves. You've got to give them a lot of credit for the job they've done on the back end. Well, they've done a lot of things right, but I agree with you, Coach. Their rebounding is right there at the top of the list. All right, well, look at how the hustle game has been going for the Lakers. Going. Sure could, Kev. I mean, too many empty trips. They need some points. Number 11. He comes off the pick and hammers it home. Six to shoot. Here's Payne. He's covered by Brown. Here's Landry. Shakes off the strong D and gets to the bucket for two. But you can't shortchange the organization with people making the decisions. They've been a winner for a long time, and that's been the magic ingredient that's attracted them. Here's Schroeder. That is good. And the Lakers lead by nine. Percent now. Here is Ross. He hasn't scored yet. That I'm sure will change. That drops. So I'm not necessarily a big fan. Here's Schroeder. And Phoenix pushing it up now. And Ross with the slam. Textbook example there of how to use deep. Three seconds left. That's good. Schroeder's got his second bucket of the game to go. Boy, that was a rugged screen set there, fellas, and the defense didn't even try to go through that one. And the first half ends in a close one. Los Angeles on top, up five. Live from the Staples Center, you're watching 2K Sports. And now, brought to you by Sprint. Coming to you from the 2K Sports studios, I'm Damon Bruce with a first half recap.
The Los Angeles Lakers in front against Phoenix. They're crashing the offensive glass with reckless intensity, tremendous hustle. Anthony Davis just having his way against the Suns defense. He's got seven points. He's been dynamic on both ends of the court, finding teammates, playing tough D on the other end. And still hanging in there, the Phoenix Suns. Their second unit giving them instant offense. They've gone to their bench for scoring, and they've answered the call. A nice start for Terrence Ross. And Chris Paul's also been getting it done. And that's all we got for you here in the studio. Time to send you back out to Kevin, Steve, Clark, and Doris for the start of the second half. The Sprint Halftime Report, presented by Sprint. Three different head coaches before all was said and done. They never really were able you know, to gain that consistency they were looking for. But they get it back. Schroeder sinks the triple. Schroeder's got the first points of the second half up on the board for the late play here in the second half. Here's Biombo. Shot is blocked. Here's Schroeder. And the shot is good. Schroeder's got five points now in the quarter tonight, but the rebounds have played a major factor. Hey, Steve, you know rebounding always one of the key barometers in determining the victory. He's definitely got that shot in his arsenal. Now here's Paul. Intercepted. Outside, Russell. And again, it's the Lakers from deep. Well, it seems like a little ball. Some nice ball movement here by the Suns. Six on the shot clock. Here's Booker. And right away, they match it with a three-pointer of their own. And Davis can't get it to go. How about this whirlwind journey the last few years for Anthony Davis? Unheralded for most of his high school career. A sudden growth spurt. Leads Kentucky to the national title in 2012. Then the number one pick in the NBA draft in 2000. There's 42 seconds left to play in the third. Here's Booker. And that one's good. They got on this roll a while ago. And then... Davis with a screen on Paul. Here's Russell. And there's the call by the official. They'll count the basket here following the goaltending call. He got there late. He got it up that time, but it wouldn't fall for him. And that's going to do it for the third quarter. Lakers lead by nine. Pass to Russell. Reeves defended by Booker. Here's Reeves from 16 feet away. He can start hitting a few of those mid-range shots, and it can open up your whole game. Landry gets the bucket. Unbelievable shot there. He busts He up. passes to Reeves. Just five on the clock. And there's the whistle. Foul hard on the shot. He'll go to the line. It had been half a decade since the late. Now here's Paul. Some nice ball movement here by the Suns. Warren, good. What are they thinking leaving him with all that space out there? And Davis backs down. And that one's good. Top assignment for that defender with the size of this man. Yeah, I got ball. After the missed three from Craig, from past the arc, and that one's good. Boy, I tell you what, he loves getting looks like. The tie for the ball. And taken away by Paul. The finger roll finish at the bucket. Paul's got five points now. This boy enjoys the moment. So he is the guy you want taking the big shot at the end of a game. And you know what else, Steve? Watching him run the pick and roll. Side Landry. Lock at six. The feather touch on the finger roll. Beautiful. Boy, they are just... Dishes to Booker. Smooth as silk on the finger roll. And now three, you don't necessarily have to go for the three. You could go for the quick bucket and then the foul. I'm not sure. I mean, in this situation, I think they should look for the three, Steve. I mean, try to tie this thing up. You've got three-point shooters. Let it drop. And the officials whistle a foul on the shot. The bucket's good. He'll go to the line. He dishes it to Paul. Nails the triple. Six seconds left in the fourth, and he commits the intentional foul. Smart foul there. You've got to try to extend the game. Score right now. He drops the first one, and that makes it a three-point lead. And he hits both 
free throws here. So now it's a four-point ball game. And it just feels like those are the free throws that probably put this game out of reach. And so it's the Lakers who come out on top here. And Clark, you know, it was quite a nail but Yeah, it was tight. Their guys were able to come up with big plays down the stretch, and that's the difference. Well, that'll do it for us with Clark Kellogg and Steve Kerr. We're endorsed by Kevin Holmes saying so long as we end the game, we bring you our Jordan player of the game.